take your class band then you continue to find our class what size or class what width class size or class width okay and that is the difference between what the lower class boundary of a particular class compared to the upper class boundary of a particular class i mean the difference so we'll find the difference between what 3.5 and 0.5 you are getting what three here to should get three 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 and three so as i said when it comes to the coding method it makes use of what equal class interval it makes use of equal class interval without that it will affect what the mean using the normal mean then the assume mean how you're going to get the value is going to be a bit different we have gotten our class size or class width okay so we can proceed to our coding method in that line so in that line we we'll therefore say that let's see using our zoom in we need to have what a column for u and a column for f what u so we're gonna have a column for what u okay column for u and a column for what f u f u okay so in that line this is what we're going to do you said to find u being the mu it is a deviation divided by what the class width and we have already have our deviation here we already have our class what width or class size here so we can show that we find what uh the mu or the u part of this data so mean that negative six divided by three what am i getting i'm getting what negative what two okay i'm getting negative two i'm getting negative two then negative three divided by positive three i'm getting what negative one zero by three i'm getting zero then three divided by three i'm getting one then six divided by three i'm getting what two All right so once we're able to get what the mean values then i'll multiply each mean value by what the frequency right so seven multiplying negative two i'm getting what negative 14 10 multiplying negative one i'm getting negative 10 okay then uh let's see six multiplying zero i'm getting zero here getting zero then nine multiplying one i'm getting what nine then eight multiplying two i'm getting what 16 i don't know is find the summation of what these values and what are we getting with my case when i add all i had what one yes one i had one so it means that my summation f is what one okay so once able to get that therefore i will say that in finding using my coding method i will therefore say that my summation f is what one okay so i have one here divided by summation f which is what 40 okay plus so we're all multiplying what the class rate for which we know is what three for each class width is what three that's why you need to have an equal class word width so multiplying three plus my zoom in of what eight so what are we getting we are getting three over 40 plus eight isn't this the same values that we're getting here like the the uh, that of that of uh sorry the assuming so the same thing actually so you are getting what 0 0.075 plus what 8 and then we should be able to get what 8.075 as our mean so whether you use the coding method whether you use the assume mean method or the normal mean we expect that the values you get should be a bit what close in that line once you have gotten that then we can also talk about i i our median so how do you find median for a group data we said this what l plus what n over 2 okay minus what c f m all divided by what f m and then all multiplying what c we said that c f m represent the cumulative frequency of what the median what uh class in that line right so now we need to have what a cumulative frequency in that line okay so let's see so you have a column for what a cumulative what frequency cumulative frequency so let's find that in that line so how to find a cumulative frequency means that we are going to are uh, going to use a less than approach right so we'll be adding the frequencies i don't know the, the last value going to get for cumulative frequency should be equal to the total what frequency in that line which is for the 40. so this is what we're going to do so in between the first we're going to get what seven here and then we add seven plus ten that should be the second value for the second class and that should be what 17 then 
from 17 we add 6 to it we get what 6 plus 17 we are getting 23 and then 23 plus 9 we are getting what 32 then 32 plus 8 you should be able to get what 40 this approach is what we call a less than approach a less than approach okay in finding the cumulative frequency because of what the mean formula so therefore to find the median it is what so we say that the median is the middle what value is the middle what value so let's see from the middle value from the frequency so what do you think is going to be the middle value for you to get the middle value to you for a group frequency we always divide we will take it from here we get a position we take it from here we divide the number of frequency by what two medium is divided by what two the middle value so the total frequency is 40 divided by it what are we get so it means that is what the 20th word position 40 divided by 2 is what 20 right so you get the 20th word position so mean that once you get the 20th position which class should that for that value for is going to be Alexi. so we have here to be 77 plus 10 we are getting 17 17 plus 6 we are getting 20 so mean that the 20th value is going to be within what 7 to 9 what class interval because we're going to have the 20th value around where what here so mean that our mean median class is going to be what 7 to what 9 has been the class what interval so let's take note of that this is how we calculate it right so always it is n divided by what 2 is n divided by 2 unless you want to take it on further by finding let's say the quartiles of it i think that one is going to be the measure of dispersion the quartile first quartile i mean the second quarter and the type of those ones that one they also have its own method that we use but generally to find the median is what the total frequency divided by what two for a group data okay so it means that the 20th value is going to be within what seven to what nine class interval that's going to be around where what here so this is going to be the frequency of what the median what class right it is six so let's take note of that so therefore we say that our therefore our lower class boundary for the median class is going to be here from here to here is going to be let's see so our class boundary is going to, so it's going to be what the lower class band is going to be what six point what five so we have what 6.5 here okay plus we know our n is what 40 right divided by 2 minus and what is our cumulative frequency that comes before the median what frequency and that is from you so let's see have it from here so the cumulative frequency that's going to be what so here is going to be what what is the cumulative frequency that's going to be what okay let's take it from here so that you understand better so this is what the frequency of what the median what class right so for us to get a cumulative frequency that comes before the six it should be what seven plus or ten and that should be what 17. i hope that is clear that is the cumulative frequency preceding the median class that comes before the median what frequency so that's going to be what 17 7 plus 10 you get 17. so you have what here to be what 17 okay all divided by the frequency of the which is what frequency of the median which is what six right so you have six and then all multiplying or the class weight of what we know the class weight to be what three right so that is how it should be so you have 6.5 here if you have any question you can drop in the comment section then when you manipulate all these values you should be able to get you should be able to get here you should be able to get what one point what okay so here you're going to get what one uh, 0 0.5 for this bracket alone you get what 0 0.5 or multiplying with 3 so we are getting what 6.5 plus what 1.5 i believe that is clear i don't know day what are we getting we are getting what we are getting the median value to both 8 so this is the median value from a group set of what data all right so let's take note of that so let's move on to talk about the mode so in calculating the mode for a group data we said md should be equal to l plus g bracket p1 okay divided by p1 plus p2 or multiplying what the class rate and we said that always the l represent the, the lower class limit or the lower class boundary of the modal class so we said mode is always the most occurring what data the most occurring what data or the most common data we can find so from the frequency class limit values occur the most and that should be what 10. But we can see the 10 is what 
the most occurred frequency here, which is 10. So it means that our modal class is going to be what? In between 4 to what? 6. Right? And we'll take our class value for the modal class to be what? The lower class number to be what? 3.5. It will be 3.5. So let's take note of that. So we have L to be what? 3.5. Okay? Plus. Then we'll come back. We said that P1 is the difference between what? The modal frequency and that of what? The frequency. So our modal frequency is what? 10. So 10. The difference between 10 and 7. Right, we'll get our P1 and different between 10 and what 6 will fetch us our P2. So 10 minus 7, we are getting what 3, right? So that's going to be the P1. So it is what 10 minus what 7 divided by 10 minus 7 plus then we have what 10 minus 6 being the P2, right? And then multiply by 3 being the class what width in that line. So let's take note of that. I hope you are following, right? So please do want to like the video and share in that line. Very important. If you haven't subscribed to subscribe to the channel in that line. So here, when you find the difference between the modal frequency and that of the next frequency, that becomes what the value of P2, right? In some tests, they will use triangle one, triangle two, the same thing, right? So here is triangle one. That's the difference between the modal frequency and that of the next preceding what that's because that comes before the modal frequency, right? And then triangle two going to be what the frequency. The difference between the frequency of the modal class and that of the next frequency of the second uh, class interval or class band in that line. So I don't know they will have what 3.5 here, okay, plus. So we are getting here to be 3, here to be 3, here to be 4, or multiplying what class limit of, sorry, class size of what 3. So what are we getting? You get 3.5. Here we are getting what 3. Over what? 7 or multiplying 3. So, what are we getting? You are getting 3.5 plus what? 9 over 7. So, when you do your calculation right, in decimal form, you should be able to get this. In two decimal places, say two decimal places, you should be able to get what? 1.29. You should be able to get 1.29. And then when you add, you should be able to get what? 4.79. If you want to approximate it, if you ask to approximate the nearest word, then you should be able to get what five. We will get so this is how you also calculate what the mode for a group what data. So it's actually very simple, they are not difficult in calculating. So let's take note of that. Let's take note of that. So these are how we calculate the values in that line. I hope you can see. Yeah. So let's take note of that 